Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International. We meet behind the trade fair behind Zenith College on Sundays in the mornings and on Wednesdays in the evenings. Now I am bringing you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online. And this morning I'd like to capture my thoughts on these words, Jordan Open Sesame. You, you remember uh, Ali Baba and the 40 Thieves, you know, in those, uh, when we were in primary school, uh, Open Sesame then something opens and closes something and then it, it, it closes, you know. So I realized something that in the book of Second Kings, uh, chapter 2, there's a very powerful story over there filled laced with principles, principles of transitions and principles of you coming into the new. And one of the things that struck me was you remember, especially verse 14, when Elisha had followed Elijah, I mean, assiduously, he had followed him faithfully and loyally through, I mean, three different places. And in all those three different places, he had received a lot of discouragement and he had received a lot of, I mean, some of his friends had ridiculed him. And they said, I mean, why are you following this master? That means you are not, the person that, you are, you are a servant. That means you are not even going to inherit anything. Because servants don't inherit because of what Abraham said. He said, there's a servant in my house. He can't inherit me. So it is sons who inherit. But then, um, guess what? I mean, Elias, people are told Elisha that, listen, you're not going to get it because he said, do you know your master's head will be taken away from you? So they were referring to Elisha and Elijah's relationship as master and servant. I mean, there's nothing, there's no profit in it. Now, but, and Elisha had weathered that particular storm. He had rebuked them and told them, don't you dare call him. And he had even gone ahead to call him. Uh, my father, my father, the chariots of Israel. But if you remember, when they crossed the Jordan, then he was asked, what exactly do you need? Now, when they cro before crossing the Jordan, remember that Elisha took his mantle and hid the waters with it, and the waters parted. And now, Elisha was asked, what do you need? And he said, I need a double portion. And so, he received the mantle. He received a double portion. But then Elisha did something that was very curious to me. When he came to the Jordan River, now you had received power. You're on your own. The man is dead and gone. But look at what he did. He took the mantle and smote the, the river and then said, look at what he said, where is the God of Elijah? Now he should have said, where is my God? It's my time. It's my season. Open sesame. You know, all those things. Yeah, but that was the time to show his power. That was the time for him to let people know that yeah, he too, he was there, you know, in a way. But the Bible said he mentioned the name of Elijah. Where is the God of Elijah? And then the Bible said when he did that, the waters opened. I can guarantee you this. If Elijah, if Elijah had stood there and said, where is my God? Nothing would happen. What opened the Jordan River for him was the honor he gave to Elijah was the acknowledgement he gave to Elijah. That is, he honored the old. That is, those before him, he honored them. I'm going to walk in your mantle. I'm going to walk in your uh, anointing. Let me honor you. And, and that is what a lot of people don't know, especially we of the charismatic genre, where we, you know, we do things, we have received anointing and you lay hands on people, they also fall and all those other things. You speak in tongues and you get there and you pray heavy prayers as if somebody has put pepper in your mouth, you know, and all those other things. You understand? These are principles that we know. We don't learn how to honor the whole. Listen, at that same Jordan, that was the place when Jesus came and John the Baptist said, no, no, he said, you put me into the water. He said, we need to fulfill all righteousness. You put me into the water. And let me just go, and that will be something for some, some day else. But here is the principle. If you refuse to honor the old, there are certain warfares in front of you. Your refusal to honor the old is going to cost you. 
Why? Because sometimes the name of the old have the capacity to open some doors for you. I remember many years ago, we were searching for land, uh, and I'd been through, I'd seen committees, I'm thinking all this. It was so very difficult for me to get that land. Until one day my dad asked me, what's with your land? And then I told him, then he said, call me this man, and call me that man. Immediately, I went to those people, and I said, my father said, I should call you. They panicked. And all of a sudden, the search, and the travail, and the pain, and the disappointments all vanished because they undertook to make sure that I get land. The reason my father's name came up. So sometimes your refusal to honor the old, you might be locked behind your Jordan. You are gifted, you are anointed, and all those other things. But your refusal to honor those who have gone before you is going to cost you. Listen. Learning how to honor the old is a key to open the new. And it's a very, very important principle. Don't just say, you know, uh, their time has passed and be saying things that are nasty. That will denigrate their reputations and denigrate their, uh, um, all the things that they stand for. And don't rubbish them. Sometimes speak well of them because your Jordan will not open. So I believe with all my heart that there are many gifted people, but they are trapped behind the other side of the Jordan. Nothing would happen. No th nothing is going to happen. Gifted, they have mantles, but Jordan rivers are not opening. Not because of anything. But sometimes, where is the God of Elijah? Is what will open the Jordan River for Elisha. So, I, I'm not saying worship men. No. But I'm saying, learn to honor them. You see, you know what God said? He said, give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar and to God what belongs to God. See, the name of Elijah opened Jordan Rivers. Yours. Are you still trapped behind it? Because you refuse to honor the old. Listen, it is better, it is much better you begin to think seriously about this issue rather than leave it too late. See you later.